Hello, who wants to cook? It's Lady Pam here and you're very, very welcome. So if you like Oreos biscuits and you like ice cream, whoosh, it's a perfect combination. Trust me, this recipe is mwah. I hope you'll find this recipe beneficial. So these are the ingredients and I'll put them in the description box below. First, you're going to crush the Oreos. You're going to use a rolling pin and trust me, this is a perfect workout session for all my ladies who want to lose some weight in their arms. So after you're done crushing the Oreos, you're just going to transfer it into a plate. Bear in mind, we are freezing a bowl that you're going to use to whisk the whipping cream. So you take out the freezed bowl and place it on some cubes. And then we're going to pour the cold whipping cream. I use 500 ml. And then we're going to mix it on high, low to high speed. You're just going to swirl it around till we get a stiff thick just like this. Now you're going to add the condensed milk, but this is very preferential. It's up to your preference and your taste bats. <laughs> so you're going to mix it on low heat speed for less than a minute till it's well combined. Now add one teaspoon of vanilla essence and then crushed Oreos. So you just mix till it's well combined and you're good to go. Now you're just going to transfer it into a pan. Because I love Oreos cookies so much, I'm going to add extra cookies for the toppings. But this is very, very optional. If you don't have Oreos cookies, I think you can use any chocolate biscuit. I think it will give the same effect and it will just be nice. So. <laughs> so we're going to cover it with a cling film. A, A, and then <laughs> we're going to freeze it for about six hours but i freeze mine for about 10 hours so now look at all this goodness i hope you found this video very helpful so my friends also designed some for me and i just want to thank them for their time and their efforts thank you so much now let's go to food for our soul Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 9 to 10 says that two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow, but woe to him that is alone when he fallen, and had not another to lift him up. Amen. Today the Lord is asking us to seek for help when we, when we think we need help. Because there are times when we think we can do everything on our own. Two is always better than one. Hallelujah. So when you need help, you should go out and seek for help. If you take a look at our bodies, right? The left hand and the right hand. The left hand needs the right hand and the right hand needs the left hand. So no one is useless in your life. Every single person in your life is very, very, very important because you can learn from that person. When you are down, we need our friends to lift us up. When we are going through trauma, we need people to put and speak positive things into our life. We need people to encourage us. If you are having problems with your education you go to the one who is smart that person is going to help you out if you feel like you need help in your prayer life you can go to someone you think is more mature than you so that the person can help you out mm -hmm. the scripture says that iron it sharpen it iron we are light we are the body of christ somebody is the head somebody is the toe somebody is the fingers somebody is the lips so we help each other we build each other up so if you need someone to help you don't feel shy at all but just go to that person reach out to that person and let that person be helpful to you thank you for watching amen